Hello viewers, in this video I'm going to talk about the Apple iOS 6 update that's causing problems for a number of users of Apple iOS devices. What we've heard on these Apple discussion boards with such huge activity of 134,000 views and over a thousand replies is that Wi-Fi is just not stable. Anything from freezes to connectivity problems. In our own experience, we triggered this by viewing videos in Safari. Uh, these problems were never present in iOS 5. So let's do a test. Let's compare two iPad 2s, one connected to a wireless N router and one connected to a wireless G router, and kind of demonstrate the problem. The one on the left has wireless N connectivity, trying to load YouTube. The one on the right, wireless G, trying to load YouTube. The one on the right loads flawlessly. There are no problems. Perfect speed, whereas the one on the left has a problem loading and is still trying to load. In terms of signal strength, both iPads have three bars for signal strength, so it should not be a signal strength problem. This can be a very annoying problem because it happens randomly. It there's no fixed way to recreate the problem. What in our experience we found is if we load videos in Safari, sometimes we see videos freeze and we notice the problem. And for Safari, when we're trying to load a web page that fails, we typically get a Safari error, um, which can be a, a bit annoying, such as this one that you see right now. Um, server stopped responding. Is it a Safari problem? doesn't look like it. Because if we were to tr open other apps after the Wi-Fi has frozen, all the other apps would also have connectivity problems. For example, let's hit the App Store. App Store would be saying loading, 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 and it would never complete. So this is not a simple problem to fix. But it's good to know that not all wireless end routers have this problem. If you have a wireless end router and you disable the wireless end mode in that router and force it to wireless G, the problem still does not go away, unfortunately. So hopefully Apple will release an OS patch to fix this problem. In the meantime, the sure fire way to solve the problem is to actually downgrade to wireless G router where Wi-Fi is known to be functioning perfectly. Alternatively, you can use a known working wireless end router. To make this easier for everyone, if you have a known working wireless end router that works well with iOS 6, please share in your comment section what is that router so others can learn from your experience. Thank you.